I do believe that misogynism and domestic violence had been at an all-time high against women. There has been an ongoing issue within the black community that result in senseless deaths of women all over the world. There are millions of women losing their life because they refuse advances, requests, or orders of men. These are their cases. But first, I want to say a huge thank you to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. June's Journey is a hidden object murder mystery game. You play as Detective June Parker, who is trying to solve the murder of her sister, and along the way, she's unlocking a lot of family secrets. Each new level takes you through an intense, mysterious journey where you have to find as many hidden objects to help you solve a murder. I'm personally a fan of games where it keeps your mind stimulated and you have to solve something it's a great game if you want to like you know play during your lunch break or me personally I enjoy playing when my kids are asleep and I just want to wind down for the night especially if you're into true crime or mysteries because I know on this channel we talk about you know some heavy stuff so sometimes I just want to enjoy something that's a bit lighthearted and fun the design of the game is very appealing to your eyes with the colors and art, but most importantly, the storylines are very interesting. You really tap into the world of the 1920s, and every scene you complete, you get closer to solving the case. The best part about this is that it's free. You can download it on Android and iOS, as well as your laptop and also through Facebook. So if this is something you really want to start playing after you know this video, go ahead and download it now. June's Journey and just press the link below in the description box. Again, thank you so much June Journey for sponsoring today's video and let's get straight into today's case. Jamia Harris was a 23 year old from Birmingham, Alabama. She was known to be a great mom, kind, and really loved by many. She was a mother to a five year old son who she absolutely adored and loved. She often just lived life to the fullest, always laughing and just being herself. She was also very family oriented. One of Jamia's cousins, Kennedy Henderson, described Jamia as a humble soul and she was always a happy soul and someone who kept the cousins together and pushed us to be the best us. On January 15th, 2023, during that weekend, Jamia decided to visit her cousin that attended the University of Alabama with her boyfriend. Now, while Jamia was out that night with other victims, a minor argument happened between her and two males. Darius Miles and Michael Davis while walking on the Strip, an area near the university's campus. Darius Miles is a student and basketball player at the University of Alabama and was benched during that Sunday due to an injury. Now, Michael Davis, he's not a student at UA, but he's from Maryland and was apparently hanging with Darius that night. Now, investigators are unsure about the details between the parties while they were walking on the strip, but Jamia's mom, DeCarla Cotton, stated on a Facebook post, quote, took my baby life because she wouldn't talk to him, pretty much alluding that Jamia declined Darius or Michael's advances. Soon after the altercation, two suspects pulled their car up along Jamia's car and shots were fired. According to a video captured by a home nearby, it shows two women running from the scene and about 11 shots were fired. The two suspects pulled off, leaving Jamia Harris in the passenger side, deceased. She lost her life instantly. In the footage, you can see Darius crying out before he was taken to jail, and him and Michael Lynn Davis were both charged with capital murder in the shooting and the death of Jamia Janae Harris. Captain Jack Kennedy, commander of the Violent Crimes Unit, didn't say Sunday who they believed pulled the trigger, but they say both suspects are being charged because their actions led to Jamia's death. University of Alabama did come out with a statement, and Coach Nate Oates came out with a public statement after Darius Miles' arrest and Jamia's death. Yeah, I just want to start today by offering our deepest condolences to the family and friends of Jamia Janae Harris young woman, daughter, and mother was taken way too soon from a senseless act. It's an incredibly sad situation. And our hearts go out to our loved ones. We're keeping them in our thoughts and prayers as they continue to grieve. I thought it was important that we were all here and around to support one another through this situation. 
this being a pending investigation, there's nothing I can add that hasn't already been shared. You may have some questions, but there's nothing I can comment on relative to Darius' situation in the investigation. Again, our sympathies to Jamia's family following this unimaginable loss. This is a really difficult situation. We're continuing to support each other as we process this and balance school and basketball. To that end, <clears throat> we regrouped this morning to maintain our routine and some structure in the midst of... Yeah, what was the message to the, the team when you guys met last night? It's really a tragedy all around, especially for Jamia and her family. Wish we weren't having to address the situation. But, you know, we got to pull together as a team at this point, have each other's, you know, really be there for each other. DeCarla Cotton set up a GoFundMe as well to raise money for her five-year-old grandson, Kane. In her post, she wrote for her daughter, quote, She had a heart of gold and was loved by all. It's no way to express how much she would be missed. I thank everyone that has reached out with their prayers and condolences, and I appreciate however you would like to help. The account has raised about 10k so far, which is a huge blessing. Unfortunately, we have similar cases to this one where women lost their life for simply declining a man's advances, such as Tia Rapoyu. She was a 22-year-old that attended St. John's University College and was just beginning her career as an accountant. She decided that she was going to go to the Joy Vey Festival in Brooklyn, New York. And this festival is a carnival within the West Indian culture. I'm Trinidadian and Haitian, so I have been to like the West Indian Day Parade in Brooklyn before. And there's a lot of dancing, music, food, and a lot of activities there. So I know Tiara went expecting to just enjoy herself. But instead of enjoying herself with her friends, she had to tell a man named Reginald Moyes to stop grinding up against her. She told him to get off her, and instead of him respecting her personal space, he decided to pull a gun out and shoot Tiara in the face. Unfortunately, she died instantly. Reginald Moyes has been charged with second-degree murder, criminal possession of a weapon, and reckless endangerment. There's also Janice Talton Jackson. She was a 29-year-old mother of two from Pittsburgh. She also decided to go out and have a good time at the Cliffs Bar and Grill in Homewood. And while she was there, she encountered a man named Charles McKenney. He attempted to talk to Janice inside the bar and made various sexual advances, but of course she declined. She eventually walked out of the bar to leave, and he actually followed her outside and shot her simply for rejecting him. Jamia Harris' case is the most recent, but sadly, not the first. For years, women have been losing their life so tragically due to just declining a man's advances. Most leave behind children and family that will miss them dearly. I'm praying change will come, especially regarding this ongoing issue as women fear. You can't help but to think that if you decline someone's advances at a party or even at the supermarket, it won't turn left. So let's pray for the families and also let's pray for each other. Father God, we all come together and we pray for all of the victims tonight, Father God. We ask you, Lord, for healing, for peace and protection, Father God. You know all things. You know what's going on behind the scenes, Father Lord God. We ask you to bring just joy and comfort to these families that have lost their loved ones, their daughters, their cousins, their sisters, Father Lord God. And I also ask you to protect my subscribers when they're traveling, Father Lord God, when they're going to the supermarket, to parties, to work, Father Lord God, anywhere, Lord, guide their footsteps and just really protect them, Father Lord God, because there's a lot of things going on in this world and we have to just keep ourselves under your protection lord so we thank you father lord god in jesus name we pray amen